Yes, I recently was requesting, I don't like the off trail page, but it's like a deer hunt site and Well, I was just requesting the record so that I knew what was said in court uh, by me and them, and I wanted my case files, anything that any caseworker had ever written about me or, you know, my situation, and they kind of stumbled over themselves and ran back and forth trying to figure out what to tell me, and she'd come back, well, we're not really sure what you're asking for, can you write it down? So I did. I wrote a whole blank piece of paper and individually went through everything I was asking her for, information of. <clears throat> and anyway, I went down to this, the court clerk, and I asked her about the juvenile records, the court records, uh, for those for my cases. She said she wasn't sure that they would be able to release that information to me. And so I was wondering what direction should I go in to, tr to be getting that information that had to do with my uh, cases with my children in juvenile court. I don't know it too well, but there are some exemptions uh, that relate to the FOIA uh, regarding um, the juveniles. I, I don't know if it's in the FOIA or it's in the separate in a separate act. Uh, but um, it's an exemption. It's in the exemption today, okay. um, and, and and I don't know how that applies here because if they are involuntarily separated from from you, I don't know what rights you attain. I, I'm not saying you don't do you do. I don't know the answer. Right. I I have so, no rights to them. Right, but I don't, and I don't know whether you still have rights relative to their records. You may, right. you may not. I right, don't know. which I'm not trying to find out where they're at or right. anything. Right, right. But um, I would eventually like to figure that out and make sure that they are okay and being taken care of because of they just black, like you said, even anything with their names on it, anything is blacked out. Right. So when I go down there and they try to tell me that they've been adopted out so they can't release those records, right. I mean, that's really not true because their everything's been blacked out already right. anyway. Anyway, that was my question. No, it's a good question. It's, 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 unfortunately, that's beyond my purview as well. Um, and, you know, I think I need to talk to someone who's a little more expert in that specific overlap, you know, the issue of children and the FOIA. Right. There's somebody in the middle that will come back. Yes, sir. Well, what I want to know is, now we've been told a lot of things that we're entitled to. The transparency in a window, it's got a blackout curtain over the top of it, and you can't get around that curtain. Now, what I want to know is how did you get around this curtain and find that stuff out? That's what I want to find out. That's what this is. What, what, you need to drill down a little for me. Like what, yes, there are certain things they're not, they won't turn over. So you're, you're looking for what type of thing that you're concerned about. Well, it's not an open meeting if you've got a closed meeting inside the meeting. Of course. Right, right. So, there, there are certain aspects of meetings and there are certain types of records that are not open. Some of them I agree with. Um, some of them I don't, like the one the gentleman over here on the side right now. I heard what you right. said. Exactly. That's what I'm talking right. about. Right. So, so to the extent that you disagree, as he does, and I do on that provision, uh, that when that stuff should be open to, we've got to lobby our legislators. We've got to be the people that go to the legislators the same way that the municipal league is paid with your tax dollars to do that against your interests. I don't know if the municipal league was involved in that legislation, but it's the type of legislation they would be involved in. I'll tell you that. Because they represent municipalities and there's some uh, <coughs> warden who goes and says, well, we can't have this happening. And they go to the municipal league and the municipal league goes to the to the legislature, the legislature says, well, that's a municipal league. We best be listening to them. Until okay. we make more of those. I went to a I went to a school board meeting one time down in Mansfield. Because they had football players that were playing on the football team and they were being punished for what they were doing. But an excellent student yeah, got it. But he got he got punished. Mm -hmm for throwing a stuffed toy. Mm -hmm. And I went down there and I, I listened to all of this junk that they were talking about. They talked about extracurricular activities all, all the way. And they didn't talk about grades or anything. I think they spent about 15 minutes to say that they had increased uh, math by 15.15% or something. I remember that. Mm -hmm. And I 
wanted to hold a meeting to organize the way of it. We haven't come here for what I want to talk about. They were going to the meeting now. Well, then we have a little bit of a different opinion. So, anyway, they never did explain to me why. But they, he brought me out books and everything. He wanted to explain the, 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 the principle. I mean, you know, well, he was a superintendent, actually. If anybody knows who's talking about it. Well, I'm sympathetic with your concerns. That is, if you have to uh, meet a good I want more so. transparency. <laughs> I really do. They're also transparent. Uh, so it's, it, it's well, an issue. Just... We need more transparency. Here and there. Can, 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 can the same thing happen? No, I just spoke to the gentleman back here. Can the same thing happen on the federal level? I'm not. The, I'm not an expert on the, on the federal FOIA, so I don't. I don't know if there's an exemption for prisoners in the action in the federal FOIA or not. Parkers meeting is a special meeting. Um, are there any provision requiring FOI training for public bodies? I'm not aware of that. That's a good question. I, because I've heard a lot about training, but I don't know if it's required or not. I think the municipal league says that they train them. One of the things they do provide is training to their people on, uh, on the FOIA. I don't know what the details are. Because that would be something to pursue. Yeah. I, I guarantee if they're meeting in Arkansas right now, they're violating MLI somewhere in the state. I, I think that's a safe bet, actually. Yes. Uh, I'll say this. There's either a meeting or a records request that is violating the FOIA today. I think that's a fair... Every single day. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment.